Okay. I'm pretty sure everyone who subscribed to me knows what I'm talking about. If you don't, the link's down there. And I swear to God, any of you click on an ad and I'll fucking deck you. Okay. Uh, let's let's start with with what I what I think is a good call. Um, recording the answers that Shiloh is giving to specific questions. Or simple questions. Like, you know, where are you? What's your name? How old are you? That stuff, recording that is a good call. I don't think putting it on YouTube is. But recording it is a good call. Because in case she comes back around, you can show that to the doctor. And you're going to be noticing that that character is a reoccurring theme in here. Now, when you put that little caption that said that you were terrified, you know, when Shiloh started shaking and your eyes were rolling back and all that, I want you to explain to me why you didn't just toss down the camera and the last thing that we heard was you yelling, HOLY SHIT! and then dialing 911. Any decent person um, in, your circum in your situation, in that circumstance, would have done exactly that. Now, I don't care that she said that she wanted this up so people could see it. She's clearly not in her right mind. And when someone isn't in their right mind, you have to take into account what's best for them instead of what they want. Because those two tend to be as far from synonymous in those kind of situations. And if she doesn't want to go to the doctor, she is clearly not in her right mind, just judging by your video. Just judging by your video, Greg. She is clearly not in her right mind. What she wants and what she needs are in conflict with each other. This is... If you love her, you'll give her what she needs. If you don't, you'll give her what she wants. You could potentially be fucking killing her by not giving her any medical attention or, or taking her to see any medical professionals. <sighs> okay. This is serious and very scary shit. So I get that you recorded it in case she kind of lapsed out of it and then you could like show that to a doctor and be like, I, I know that she's fine now. Uh, this is how she was answering the same questions. Take a look at this. That makes sense. Second she started shaking, though, any human being with any sense of compassion would have just... You know, the camera probably would have not survived if it was me. Um, if it was me. I, I would have done exactly what you did up until Shiloh started shaking. Um, you know, just, okay, she, she's panicking, grab the camera, 
Um, let's ask some simple questions. Of course, before that, I would have called for a doctor or possibly, depending on the symptoms beforehand that inspired you to pick up your camera, 911. But, you know, of course, I, I, I take out my iPhone, which I'm recording on now, and be like, all right, um, uh, can, can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your age? Can you tell me where you are? Uh, that, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, what's your mother's name? What's your father's name? Uh, do you know who I am? How many fingers am I holding up? That kind of shit. Um, record that while help is on the way. The second that she started shaking, I don't even... You said you had trouble holding the camera. You... Okay, Greg... You know when you said that you you had trouble holding the camera? You know what that was a signal to do? You you know what your body was telling you at that moment? Holy shit! She is wigging out! She is fucking having a seizure in front of me, and I need to put this camera down and call an ambulance. What did you do? You held the camera. I guess that's the difference between you and everyone else. Everyone else would have given in to that impulse because it's the right thing to do. It's that simple. I think I'm going to throw up now.